In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. And as you can see pointed out in the Companion Bible, this sickness was during the siege of Jerusalem by the king of Assyria we read of in the last two chapters, the Assyrian being a type of Antichrist who will cause most Christians to die spiritually at 666 when they receive the mark of the beast, in their forehead, which is the noisome and grievous sore written of in Revelation chapter 16, verse 2, the first vial having been poured out in 1830, lining up with the hidden dynasty of education, as well as the first trumpet and the fourth seal. And it was also in 1830, Sennacherib's six-sided cylinder was discovered that you can read about in Appendix 67 of the Companion Bible, which is called the Songs of the Degrees, but it's not until Satan appears as the Antichrist that the spiritual death of the first six plagues takes place, which is when they'll receive the mark of the beast in their forehead, the noisome and grievous sore written of in the first vial. But those who repent before the seventh vial is poured out will be counted as good figs when the true Christ returns at that time. The spiritual death sentence will be reversed, in other words, which is what we'll see a type of here in Isaiah chapter 38. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord, and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I, meaning God himself, will defend this city, meaning ultimately he'll defend those who repent during the sixth trumpet and become citizens of the heavenly Jerusalem once again, and at the seventh trumpet they'll take part in the first resurrection into eternal life. And according to the book Number and Scripture by Bullinger, 15 being 8 plus 7 as well as 3 times 5 may also include a reference to resurrection, and we'll see that God through Isaiah will tell them to take a lump of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and Hezekiah shall recover, the boil being symbolic of that noisome and grievous sore, which is the mark of the beast, but again, upon repentance, the 144,000, as well as whosoever will, are counted as good figs in the first resurrection when the seventh angel sounds, and this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord that the Lord will do this thing that he has spoken. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which has gone down in the sundial of Ahaz, ten degrees backwards. So the sun returned, the light of the sun, that is to say, ten degrees, by which degrees it was gone down, a sign of the reversal of the death sentence, and in the future ascents, the church in Smyrna, which is a type of fig tree, is made up of the 144,000 who will die spiritually at 666, but then are brought back into God's family tree because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those of the church in Philadelphia who are the Zadok on earth at that time. And as you can see in Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, some of the church in Smyrna will get cast into prison that they may be tried and they'll have tribulation 10 days. The same amount of degrees God caused the light of the sun to go backward. Again, symbolic of the reversal of the death sentence for those who repent during the sixth trumpet. In 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verses 24 through 26, we see this same point in time when Hezekiah was sick to the death and prayed unto the Lord, and he spake unto him and gave him a sign, but Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him, for his heart was lifted up. Therefore there was wrath upon him and upon Judah and Jerusalem, which again is where Satan will appear as the Antichrist, notwithstanding Hezekiah humbled himself for the pride of his heart, both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem in the future since both the 144,000 and whosoever will out of most if not all of the other churches so that the wrath of the Lord came not upon them in the days of Hezekiah. The writing of Hezekiah, king of Judah, when he had been sick and was recovered of his sickness. Returning to Isaiah chapter 38, I said, in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am deprived of the residue of my years. I said, 
I shall not see the Lord, even the Lord, in the land of the living. I shall behold man no more with the inhabitants of the world. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have cut off like a weaver my life, taking responsibility for his own actions there. He will cut me off with pining sickness from day even to night, what thou make an end of me. I reckon till morning that as a lion, so will he break all my bones from day even to night, wilt thou make an end of me. Like a crane or a swallow, so did I chatter. I did mourn as a dove. Mine eyes fail with looking upward. O Lord, I am oppressed. Undertake for me. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me, and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things is the life of my spirit. So wilt thou recover me and make me to live spiritually in the ultimate future ascents. With the valley of dry bones in Ezekiel chapter 37 being symbolic of those who will be killed spiritually at 666, but when the Holy Spirit speaks through those who will get delivered up during that time, time those bones are brought back to life being then able to take part in the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet becoming israel once again as all were in the first world age behold for peace i had great bitterness for thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back and within that you can see the repentance this ultimately looks forward to it's only through the true christ upon repentance our sins can be erased and it's upon realizing they've been worshiping the false Christ the Assyrian was a type of, they'll repent, being then grafted back into God's family tree. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee, they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee as I do this day, the father to the children shall make known thy truth. The living being those who are in Christ Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. The Lord was ready to save me, therefore we will sing my songs to the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. And the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb are sung by those who had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image, an image of Satan as Antichrist transmitted throughout the world during 666 and over his mark, which is the deception, and over the number of his name, again 666, when he appears in Jerusalem, the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial. And to count that number means to enumerate the stones worn smooth who are the Kenites, the natural branches of Satan's family tree. For Isaiah had said, let them take a lump of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil and he shall recover. Symbolic of the removal of the mark of the beast when the seed of the seal of God springs forth within the mines it was planted within during the grace period of the fifth trumpet. Those of the Zadok will have the seal of God in their forehead throughout the entire five month long hour of temptation, but it's not until the Holy Spirit speaks through them that those who had the seed of the seal of God will be grafted back into God's family tree because of the latter rain, which is the Holy Spirit speaking through first the church in Philadelphia and then through those out of most, if not all, of the other churches once they repent, becoming the exceeding great army of Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 10. Hezekiah also had said, what is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? As you can also see in 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 8. The shadow having returned backward 10 degrees, and this is what Hezekiah refers to in the title for the songs of the degrees in the book of Psalms, as you can see pointed out in the Companion Bible. At that time, Merodach Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and all the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house nor in all his dominion that Hezekiah showed them not. And this is where Hezekiah is more of a type of the Christian nations handing everything over to the king of Babylon of the end times at 666. Those three horns plucked up by the roots in Daniel chapter 7 verse 8 being symbolic of the three Christian nations 
nations that make up the lion of Daniel chapter 7, symbolized also historically by Jehoiakim, Coniah, and Zedekiah, the last three kings of Judah, leading up to the destruction of Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar in the 70 years in captivity to Babylon were a type of the 70 evenings of the sixth trumpet, those two and a half months that end when the true Christ returns at the seventh trumpet. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto King Hezekiah and said unto him, What said these men, and from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon, which means confusion. Then said he, What have they seen in thine house? And Hezekiah answered, All that is in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. And they'll hand everything over to Satan at 666 once he appears as the false Christ, having two horns like a lamb, but he'll speak as a dragon because he is the dragon. They'll think he's Jesus' return when he's really that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. And spiritually, this looks forward also to most Christians losing credit for their righteous acts that make up their treasure in heaven, as well as the clothing they wear and the apostasia when they're made naked and poor spiritually when they worship the false Christ. And of thy sons that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah, to Isaiah, good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. And here we come to the end of the section of Isaiah called in the Companion Bible, Historic Events and Prophecies During the Reign of Hezekiah. Judah would later be taken into captivity by Nebuchadnezzar, looking forward to the captivity of the king of Babylon of the end times during that last half hour of the five-month-long hour of temptation that ends at the seventh trumpet when the true Christ returns as King of Kings and Lord of Lords.